everybody, it's Lo, and welcome back to my channel, Lo Without Limits. This video is some more eco-friendly products, so if you wanna see that, then just keep watching. I do have two other eco-friendly product videos and I will have both of those linked down below in the description box, but these are some new products that I've been loving and just want to share with you. So let's just jump straight into it. The very first one that I've been loving lately is Branch Basics. So I believe it was my very first eco-friendly products video when I mentioned Blue Land. I'm sorry, yeah, yes, Blue Land. Sometimes I get Blue Land, the cleaning products, and Brightland, the olive oil confused, but Blue Land is the cleaning products. I talked about them in one of my previous videos and I do like the products. I like the concept of having the reusable things with the little tabs and that each tab is different. But I did mention in that video that I wasn't a fan of their mirror cleaner. So I was still using a mirror spray, which isn't the most like non-toxic. Like it definitely makes my little air purifier go up when I spray it, but the Blue Land window cleaner and mirror cleaner just wasn't doing it. It was leaving it very streaky. And some people said, well, maybe don't use a microfiber cloth. Like it could be better with a paper towel, but that's super wasteful. Like I love using microfiber cloths when I clean, which I've also talked about in one of my previous eco-friendly videos. And also a while back, maybe at the start of this year, the nozzles started to like get stuck, like they weren't spraying. So I emailed them, said, hey, my nozzles aren't working. And they did mail me some new ones and I sent them back the ones that weren't working. They said to just send them back with the prepaid shipping label. That way they could properly recycle them, which was great. But then also, and I don't know if it started because I had to squeeze so hard to get the nozzle to work, but they started cracking. So the two that I used, the multi-service and the bathroom one, both started cracking. So I was running low, as you can see, this one's out now. And I thought, do I want to buy more Blue Land tablets? So I thought I would switch and try out Branch Basics for a bit, just to see how I like it and how it compares. So I got the Branch Basics starter kit, but instead of getting it with the plastic bottles, which are very similar to this, I, splurged a little bit more i believe it's for 30 dollars. you can get the starter kit but with the glass bottles which i love so much more they're so cute they're tiny they have a little silicone bottom that way they don't slip anywhere the nozzles are great and because it's glass they're not going to be cracking and i was super worried about branch basics because unlike blue land where it's a different tab for each cleaning product branch basics you get this concentrate that's it this one thing and it has water, cocoa, glu glucoside, organic camilla, chamomile maybe, I don't know, some extract, desyl glucoside, sodium citrate, laurel glucoside, sodium bicarbonate, and sodium phytate, which when you look on different apps, like different clean product apps, this comes up as the top cleanest cleaner. But I was super worried, like how is this one product gonna clean my mirrors, clean my bathroom, clean my counters? It just didn't make sense to me and I was definitely very, very skeptical, but I've been using it and absolutely love it. So my all-purpose one is a little bit more empty just because I do use it more. And how it works, even though it all comes from one concentrate, is it has these little dashes. So this one for the bathroom is water to here, soap to here. For the all-purpose, it's a little bit more water soap. And then for the streak-free, it's mostly water with just a little splash of the soap. The streak-free window and mirror cleaner actually works, which I didn't get from Blue Land, but like for this one to work, for a natural cleaner to actually clean my mirrors and windows without leaving it super streaky, I was so happy about. So I absolutely love it. And now I don't have to use my chemically mirror and window cleaner. I'm gonna use it to finish it up. I'm not just gonna like throw it away. Super excited about that. Again, it's just this one concentrate and you can get an even bigger concentrate too. That way you don't have to go through as many of these plastic bottles. But again, because I wasn't sure, just wanted to test it out. I just went with their standard size, but I think it's absolutely great because there have been a lot of fires and a lot of smoke in my area. I actually picked up this tip from watching shut the kale up on Instagram. Her stories, she also has branch basics and she said she just put it all over the floor and then like Swiffered because I do have like some Swiffer wet things, but to get all the smoke out, I would have to go through like six for a 450 square foot apartment. Like that would be ridiculous and so wasteful. So I took a little lesson from her, put this all over the floor and then cleaned it up with my microfiber cloth and then just washed the cloth. And it got a lot of just like dirt and smoke and ash that kind of ended up in here off of my floor. So super, super happy with these so far. I was so skeptical. So if you're super skeptical about Branch Basics thinking like the same thing as I did, just like how does one thing clean everything? 
it does work. So big, big fan. And I also have a link down below if you want to try them out. You can get $10 off your first order. So I highly recommend and I love these glass little bottles. I think they're so cute. The next item is something that I was sent recently just to see if I wanted to try it out. And it's from a company called Filter. She reached out to me because she said that they're rid of filters that are super eco-friendly because you're not going through the plastic cartridges the entire time. For the Brita or other water filter, things like that, you have to buy the filter cartridges to put in it that the water will go through to get all clean and you have to buy those like every few months depending on when the little light goes off to replace the filter so what this company does is instead of buying the entire new plastic cartridge which would be you know this much plastic or about every few months what they offer are the cartridges the outside plastic part that fits into the hole of the filter that are reusable so you can take the top off and then you can get these little like carbon filters and you pop those in there whenever you need to replace the filter so that way instead of throwing the entire plastic piece away you just reuse that plastic piece and only replace this part so yes you still have to throw something away you're still tossing a filter but the amount of plastic instead of again the full thing to just this little bit is so much better so i think that's a really cool company and i didn't use it right when i got it because my filter was still good but a few weeks ago the little light went off to replace the filter so instead of replacing it with the standard brita filter i did put this in there so it has it in there right now once i switched the filter to this one i was super curious to see how the water would taste to see if it would actually taste like it's been filtered or taste like it came straight from the tap and i'd say it tastes good just like nice filtered water the same as it would with the original brita filter so the taste of water is still good it doesn't taste like i just poured it from my sink and it like pretend went through a filter you can definitely tell that it's nice cleaner filtered water one thing that i would love though in the future like either when i move into a new apartment or like have a home one day i don't know it's california can't afford houses here I would love to have like a water filter system that you can put underneath the sink or like a Berkey, which is kind of like this little tin thing that like really filters the water, Ugh, but a little more expensive. But if you're somebody on a budget that wants to reduce the plastic, but you have a Brita or something like that, I definitely recommend these because again, you still are replacing something, but the amount that you're replacing is so much less every few months and you're getting the exact same results. And then something else that this made me think about that I haven't really discussed is my Hydro Flask. I've had it for maybe over a year now and I feel like in my last two reusable products videos, the very first one I had this new like plastic one that you can put fruit in, but that one broke. And right after that, I got the Hydro Flask and I don't think I ever really discussed it. If I have, then I'm just repeating myself, but I absolutely love my Hydro Flask. I have the 32 ounce one. so. Sometimes I wish I got the 16 ounce one so it could fit in my car cup holder, but this is great because I don't have to fill it up as much. And if I drink four of these, that's like a gallon of water a day. And a gallon of water seems so like overwhelming. But when you think like, oh, it's just four of these or like at least four, like almost four of these, like three, it makes it seem so much more attainable and it just keeps it cool. It keeps it a nice cool room temp because again, I don't like refrigerator water. <clears throat> I like slight room temp. Sticking to like the water and drinks, something else that I recently bought was the Keep Cup. So this is the medium size. So if you're confused, when you look online, they have like small, medium, large. The large is a bit taller, but this is the medium size. The small seem like way too small for me, but I'd say that the medium of this is like if you go to a coffee shop and maybe ask for a small, and I absolutely love it. I love that it's glass, so it looks so nice, and it still like keeps everything really warm or really cool because it is insulated. I love the cork on the side. You saw my montage backpack thing. I learned that cork comes from trees, and it's just like super sustainable. And then I got this one. So I, I bought mine off of Amazon, but they sell them at a lot of different places, and I absolutely love it. I often keep this in my purse or in my car, and every time I go to Austin's, I take it with me because he does like love making coffee like it's one of his favorite things to do but if we do ever like take a walk and you walk to a coffee shop then I'll kind of know like okay we're taking a walk we might go stop and get coffee so I'll just like throw this in my purse because it is pretty small so I can take this and then they'll just fill it up with coffee because I don't I'm not like getting anything special so right now kind of depending on where you are people might be kind of like weird about the cups but I'm sure as things open up more and become a bit more regular in terms of like touching other people's stuff you can definitely use it more so right now it's kind of like a hit or a miss if the people are like oh no like 
sorry, we'd rather just like give you a plastic cup, which is annoying, but I completely understand given the circumstances right now. But some places have been like, oh yeah, sure, I'll just, you know, top it off. So that's great. And you can like save some money, especially if you go to somewhere like Starbucks, you can save 50 cents off your drink if you give them a reusable cup. Again, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't been to a Starbucks in so long, so I'm not entirely sure if they're still doing it right now given the situation, but it's great to save money. It looks so cute, keeps your drink nice and warm, and I absolutely love it. It's super great and it's super light, even though it's glass, to take with me places. And again, sticking to the theme of drinks, I want to show you the newest product from my small business, Rain Reusables. So it is bamboo straws. These are reusable bamboo straws, and in this box, you get six bamboo straws the little case that they're all in, and then two cleaning brushes. So similar to the glass ones, the glass straws, you get four glass straws with the pouch and the two cleaning brushes. This one you're getting six plus the pouch and two cleaning brushes. And bamboo is super cool because bamboo can grow up to three feet in a day, and it's actually a super invasive grass, so it'll take over whatever other plant is near it. So people have to cut it down pretty regularly just to control the environment and make sure that bamboo is not completely taking over. So it already has to be cut down and harvested, and it's super sustainable, so it's like, why not use it for different products. And why bamboo grows so quickly is because it actually has this natural antibacterial property to it that makes sure like bugs and bacteria don't kill it and invade it. So that's why it's super durable and naturally antibacterial because it just has this property and I don't know what it is, but it's like some magical property that like bugs, germs, nothing can grow on it and that's why it's actually so invasive. So I think that's really cool. So if you again, you're worried about bacteria and things around, Bamboo is a really, really good option. And while the glass straws are super durable, I do completely understand people that are hesitant to give it to a child just to be safe. So again, because bamboo is durable and it's not glass, it's not just gonna like shatter if you do break it. It's super great to give to kids. It's also dishwasher safe. Unlike metal, they don't conduct heat. So if you do wanna drink it in like a warmer drink, a hot drink, it won't conduct heat. I think they're super, super amazing. And these sets, again, it's six straws, two cleaning brushes and the travel pouch are just $18 with free shipping. So quite the deal. I'm gonna show you, I don't wanna open up this box because that's not mine. I do wanna show you the ones that I have been using. But here's a few. So they are slightly shorter than the glass straws and slightly wider in diameter. And that's because I wanted to make sure that the interior diameter was pretty wide. That way you can still drink a smoothie, drink something thicker if you want to. So because of that and because of just like the thickness of the bamboo straw, it does make the external diameter a little bit wider. But I did test out some of some other ones that I was sent that were thinner. And yes, they were like nice and skinny and whatever, but like I couldn't even drink water through them. I felt like I was really, really struggling. So I absolutely love just like the width and the diameter of them. And because they are bamboo, bamboo is just a natural growing thing. They all are a little bit different. So as you can see, these two aren't exactly the same. So each one will be a little bit different and there will be some slight variants in it, but I think they're super great. Again, super kid friendly, antibacterial. They're absolutely amazing. And they have a little pouch. The next product I've been loving is also something that I was sent from a company called Swoof, and they're on Amazon, so I'll have that link down below, and it is reusable beeswax wraps. So I've talked about beeswax wraps before on my channel, I believe in my very first video, and these ones are the originals. I believe I got them at Trader Joe's. And as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but they're pretty thick. I really wanted to use them all the time, be super sustainable, try to avoid plastic wrap completely, but I did not like these. They're just so thick that they're hard to wrap, and I felt like I would put them on something, but it wasn't actually sealing tight. So when Swoof reached out to me about sending me some to try out and review, I was super hesitant because I'm not a fan of the original ones that I got. I tried them for a while, I liked them, but like they were hard to use sometimes. I also bought these original ones about three years ago. So Swoof was like, things have changed. They are so much better now. So I was like, okay, I'll give them a try, I guess. So things have changed and they are so much better now. So the ones that they sent me are so, Thin. They're like paper thin. I don't know if you can even tell the difference in the camera, but this is just like paper and this is like cardstock is how I would compare them. And because they're so thin, they're actually so easy to wrap. So the same thing, you're gonna warm them up in your hands a little bit. That way they can mold and shape. And these are just so much easier to like wrap around something. But I was gonna wrap around my phone because they actually stick 
it actually sticks to itself, which is what you need to close it up. Whereas these ones I felt like weren't sticking to itself. See how it kind of like, no matter what I do, it takes a lot of work to get that even close to sticking to itself. So these ones that they're thin, they actually stick. I've actually been using them and I'm like, I love these. So I'm gonna have these linked down below too. I'm super happy. I was like, sure, send them over because I love them. So the ones that they sent me have some chevron and then I got some of these with little cactus. I think these ones are super cute. And there's also different sizes. So have these, ooh, ooh, ooh. have these little square ones and then they go all the way up to these bigger ones. I believe this is the biggest size. Oh, no, there's a bigger one. Like this could fit the top of a bowl. This one's so big and they're just so easy to use. I absolutely love them. They're also super lightweight and because they're a lot thinner then I can put them in my cabinet and they're not taking up a lot of space. Like these ones, it's only three and they were just like everywhere. So I absolutely love these. Big, big fan, love that. The technology of reusable beeswax wraps has changed. I love the sizes. I have a couple and like some cucumbers in the refrigerator right now. So I'm a big, big fan of these. So if you have also been hesitant or you've had beeswax wraps before and you aren't a fan, I definitely recommend trying these ones out. They just work so much better and actually keep my food fresh and you don't have to use the reusable plastic wrap. It's the very next thing I do have an entire video on that I will have linked down below and it goes into full detail about this product, but it is the Guppy Friend washing bag. I don't have it with me because I leave it at Austin since I do my laundry at his because it's a nice throw washer and dryer and it's free. So always do my laundry there. Gonna do it in a few hours. So I absolutely love my Guppy Friend. Again, if you wanna hear a lot more about that, see it in action, see all the microplastics it got, hear me just like, discuss microplastics because it is such an important thing to talk about that not a lot of people know. I definitely recommend checking out that video and in just relation to that, just I also discussed this in that video, but kind of looking at your clothes, looking at sustainable brands, shopping sustainable, ethically, and especially if you have the money to like supporting brands that do that instead of fast fashion. So I just wanna share with you a couple sustainable brands that I've been absolutely loving lately. So one of them is Girlfriend Collective. I'm sure you've seen them on Instagram. And it's just these really nice workout clothes. This is one of the bras. It has this like nice little back in here. I have more, but gonna work out this weekend, so I packed them in my bag. So this is one of the bras, this is in like their green color, and then the leggings, which I've also posted a photo of on my Instagram, at low without limits. So these are actually made from recycled water bottles, which is amazing because water, like there's so many water bottles that don't get recycled, just end up in a landfill, in the ocean, and just become microplastics. So I think that they're actually taking those recycled, those water bottles and recycling them into really cute, comfortable, great, active wear is amazing. And the workout leggings I love because they do give you a little bit of compression. They're high rise, which I love. They give you the compression, which I love. I haven't taken them to a gym since gyms are closed. But personally for me, I have a knee issue just from like years of volleyball. So I love, especially when I'm doing leg days and squatting, just to have that little compression, that nice little hug on my knee. So I do have like Lululemon aligns, but I wouldn't wear those during leg day. I just feel like my legs, my knee's gonna fall apart. So to have these ones with the compression, I'm super excited to wear these and squat in them whenever the gyms may open again. They also ship them in a recyclable paper mailer and then they all come in this little tote as well, which is so cute. I actually have a bunch of my reusable products, like I keep my keep cup in it. That way all my reusable things are together and I can just take them with me and leave it in my car so keeps everything nice and cute and together and you can also send back your old workout clothes even if they're not from girlfriend and they will recycle them and make them into something new which is amazing another brand that I've been loving is made the label a little bit more on the pricey side but again if you have the money to support a sustainable and ethical brand i definitely recommend checking them out so the very last eco-friendly product that i want to talk about i also have an entire video review that i will have linked down below but it is shampoo bars and just different body bars and being more sustainable in the bathroom so for that video i reviewed butter and lie butter and lie is a small women-owned business based out of brooklyn new york and they have shampoo bars as well as different body and face wash bars so in that video i review the different products how my skin and hair liked it because 
because I was super skeptical going into using shampoo bars, but absolutely love it. Spoiler alert. I love having bars instead of different plastic containers in the bathroom. In the bathroom, I would say is where I'm maybe the least sustainable. It's super hard to make different switches in there. So I've been absolutely loving these. I love the shampoo bar. I love the body and face wash bar. This is the pink clay one. So I have that entire video linked down below that I will go that I go into more detail with it. But big fan, big fan of trying to find new things in the bathroom that I can be more sustainable with. Definitely this is a start and I'm looking forward to trying out more things in the bathroom and also just more clean products. So I do love the Branch Basics because they are clean, there's no toxins in them. It's such an amazing product. And I also wanna do the same, not only for my home cleaning products, but like for my body cleaning, which Butter and Lye does offer. And just for my makeup and different things like that, even clean clothes, like this is non-toxic dye because that gets onto your body as well. So trying to switch over to not only eco-friendly products, but non-toxic products and just things that are really good for your body and the environment is definitely something that I want to continue to do more in. So if you guys have any recommendations for that, definitely leave it down below. That's something that I kind of really want to work on moving forward in the future. Well, there you have it. These are some of my new favorite eco-friendly products. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite eco-friendly products are and what you want to see more of on my channel. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe. I upload a new video every Wednesday. So until the next one, thanks for watching. Oh,